Electricity prices skyrocketed last year, making many question whether it was cheaper to drive a diesel car. Well, spoiler alert, it isn't. Nowhere near, not even close. But it got me thinking how much it costs to charge an EV using different charger networks. Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to Dave Takes It On, where this video takes on common myths and misconceptions, and looks at what is happening in the EV world, helping you to decide whether an EV is suitable or better for you. So today we look at the price of charging your EV in the UK. To set the scene, I drive a Tesla and I have a 7 kilowatt home charger. I plug in overnight for 10 hours off peak at 14.6 pence per kilowatt hour. When I'm working away, I usually use the Tesla supercharger network, which costs 39 to 45 p per kilowatt hour. Let's see how much non-Tesla chargers charge their customers to charge their cars. I do include a summary table at the end. Just as an unbelievable bonus, EV drivers can often charge totally free. Many restaurants, hotels and holiday rental properties now offer EV drivers free charging. Hotel and holiday property guests charge overnight while asleep. Restaurant diners can charge while enjoying lunch or dinner. I saw these free charges in February this year at the Celtic Manor Hotel car park in Newport, Wales, while I was using the Tesla supercharger. I was on a road trip. Look out for free charging. Just a quick summary of Tesla superchargers for comparison. There are about 100 Tesla supercharger stations in the UK with between 8 and 24 charging stores each, each with either 150 or 250 kilowatts charges. The 150s share power between stalls, the 250s do not share. Any Tesla car can use any Tesla charger, and the vast majority of Teslas can use the full 250 kilowatts. Tesla's building more than 40 totally new supercharger stations in the UK for completion by the end of 2024. Prices are amazingly low, 39 to 45p per kilowatt off peak, but leaps to 50 to 56p during peak hours, 4pm to 8pm. Just avoid these hours. Our first entrant is Shell Recharge, who state that they will increase their network to 100,000 by 2030, so that 90% of all drivers will be within 10 minutes of a Shell Recharge. They currently boast only 13,000 chargers, so long, long way to go. And most are, and always will be, 7 or 11 kilowatt slow chargers. They currently have around 254 cores with EV charging, not all equipped with the rapid 50 kilowatt or ultra rapid 175 kilowatt. Their rapid chargers cost a whopping 79p per kilowatt hour, and the 175 kilowatt ultra rapid chargers come in at an absolutely eye watering 85 pence per kilowatt hour, plus a 35p transaction charge, easily topping the price charts for all chargers. They accept contactless payment or RFID or mobile app. BP Pulse currently offers over 9,000 chargers already installed, but unfortunately, most again are the slow 7 to 11 kilowatts. And there are typically just one or two chargers per site. Many are located on their petrol forecourts, and the rest are dotted about the country in car parks, pubs, restaurants, some motorway services. Their rapid chargers are either 50 kilowatts or 150 kilowatts, adequate for most budget to mid range EVs. Prices 69p for both 50 and 150 kilowatt, accessed via RFID uh, or contactless, or you can become a member. And they quote, simply download our app below. Sign up to a full BP Pulse membership, just £7.85, including VAT per month, get one month subscription free, then £9 monthly credit for five months. Plus, pay 20% less than when you pay as you go at BP Pulse charging stations. Well, this seems like a no-brainer. It's effectively free over six months and drops the price to around 55p. Electric Highway opened back in 2011 but installed very few, very slow charges. Electric Highway was partially bought out by GridServe in June 2021, which began an immediate and dramatic upgrade programme with new 60 kilowatt units, additional charges on each site, and then by building dedicated charging hubs with shops and cafes. Many GridServe sites now have at least one ultra rapid 350 kilowatt charger, some as many as 12, and some also contain Tesla 250 kilowatt chargers. 
prices, 65 p per kilowatt for the rapid, 66 for ultra rapid, and 64 for any and all of the chargers located at their hubs. Payment with contactless bank card or RFID on mobile app. No membership is required or available, but for the future, they offer to store your car and payment data so that next time you use any of their chargers anywhere in the UK, just plug it in. It will recognize your car, remember your card, then charge your battery and take payment automatically. Instabolt are making a name for themselves, particularly with chargers being installed in popular locations such as McDonald's, KFC, Costa Coffee, car parks. In addition, they too are building hubs containing up to 32 chargers, but sad to see they're just 120 kilowatts. Adequate, but already out of date for the newest generation of EVs like their Kia EV6, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, and the BMW iX4, all of which can take nearly twice that. They're really quick and easy to use, accessed by mobile app or contactless, prices are fairly hefty, 75 pence per kilowatt hour. And also be aware, they do advise you may still need to pay parking charges in some locations while you're charging. I honestly make huge claims, like the largest network in Europe, but read the small print, expect it to be so by 2025. So today, they have just 99 charging stalls in the UK, spread over 19 locations, but in their favor, they are expanding very fast. They do install mainly ultra-rapid 350 kilowatt chargers and install up to six per location. Great business model, please just move faster. The price is 69p and can be accessed by app or contactless. No membership required. Podpoint are more of a supplier of chargers than a network these days. Once one of the largest, even now they install the very low power 7 kilowatt or 11 kilowatt chargers, mainly in supermarkets and car parks. You definitely need to bring a sleeping bag for this if you're on a road trip. Osprey charging claims to be nationwide, but again, fairly sparse. They seem to be expanding, but are not yet common. They probably have hundreds, not thousands of chargers, and most appear to be outdated 50 kilowatts, although 150 and 175 chargers are slowly making an appearance. Great if you can find one, but a whopping 79p when you do. MFG Motor Fuel Group, trading under the banner EV Power, is a very recent newcomer. They're appearing on major petrol forecourts, Shell, Esso, with multiple charges in each location, but still very scarce. At first glance, they appear to be quite modern chargers, 50 kilowatts, a small number of 150s. Really nice to see a newcomer, we do need them. But they are already, already suffering failed charges, with three out of eight showing out of service today, and one of those has been down for over a month. Reliability will count for more, more success, than high power outputs. Price is a hefty 79p per kilowatt hour. So here's the table of prices for March 2023 in the UK that I promised. There is a plethora of smaller companies, plus many councils offering charging, but most of these are AC Type 2, the 3 to 5 kilowatts overnight trickle chargers, and not of much interest to anyone other than residents. Still, I hope to include these at a future date when I update these prices. If I've missed any ones, any major ones, or got anything wrong, please let me know. I do my best. Well, thanks for watching to the end. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps. And check our videos linked below.